Tuesday, Tuesday the 16th, July, we're going to do uh, the last about 40 minutes in Magic Kingdom. It's just nice to get out of the house, so do the last 40 minutes here. Probably catch the fireworks as we walk to Main Street, um, get coffee, people mover, maybe pirates. Shopping. Of course. And uh, yeah, we'll see where the last 40 minutes takes us. It was just us and two other people. <laughs> the crazy stampede into the park right now, right? All right, let's go in. Got through the masses. It smells like peppers. It smells so good. All right, we decided to go towards Adventureland, where, of course, the cheeseburger egg roll stand is closed, but that's okay. We got about half an hour, actually, so what do you want to do? Pirates. pirates. I guess we're doing pirates. Looks like the old Hawk Tua camel is watching the fireworks show, too. Never seen the camel with his head turned. That's funny. Does it feel good? The AC and the chlorine. Uh -huh. Best smelling ride ever. There's nobody here. So it smells even better. And there's no smelly tourists in the line. You get the full, the full chlorine experience. No guns in the merchandise store. Still got the walls up. Not much has changed over here. I guess we're gonna go to the Haunted Mansion. Just walking by Tiana's Broken Down Bayou. Sounds like it's actually running tonight. Cool stuff. Fireworks are over. And we got the crazy crowd. Hopefully the line at the mansion is not too ridiculous. I think we got about 12 minutes till park close. So if it's too crowded, then we'll haul ass to the people mover. But I think we're going to do mansion over people mover right now. Fingers crossed. So they reopened the Country Bear musical jamboree. They had to add the word musical to it. We've watched some of the videos. I'm not 100% sold on it. I don't know what it has to do with Country Bears now. It's just the same old Disney songs rehashed. I don't know. We'll check it out one of these days, but not impressed. And then the old Magic Kingdom Shooting Range Arcade in Frontierland is no more. It's gonna be a really expensive vacation lounge if you got suckered into buying that. That's where you can grab some water and some free tea and probably some airplane peanuts free of charge. I just saw the ghoul in the window. Can't see it on camera. 15 minute wait. Hello. So when you come here, if you look in the windows at Haunted Mansion, can't see it now obviously, but look in the windows with the candles on and you may see a special guest walking by. <laughs> a 
fun activity you could do with your friends or family when you're in line for the Haunted Mansion, if it's a long line, is read these tombstones and try to solve the mystery. Stocked with priceless first editions. Only ghost stories, of course. The audio is not working. <laughs> Ten minutes after park closing, so I guess we gotta make our way to the exit. Sad time. It's a nice little half hour in the park. Crowds weren't too terrible. Nice little escape from the house. Years and years ago when I worked here at Magic Kingdom, I had to do Main Street Pack for a little bit. It stands for Parade Audience Control. I had to do that for a little while and this was always the, the fun part. End of the night, go pick up the cheese as it was called. It basically goes between the, the pavement and the tracks to kind of protect your ankles. It has some other uses as well, but that's what I always feel the main the main use was for. <laughs> but yeah, good times, good times on Main Street. Glad I'm not doing that anymore. Walking through the gift shop on the way out and uh, Dooney and Burke. Yes, they have some uh, new Haunted Mansion designs. Pretty cool. Obviously not for me. I don't carry purses. But it looks cool. I mean, if you want to get one for the love interest in your, in your life, there. They're pretty snazzy. It's probably the best design I've seen on those. Very classy. They even have Tiana's Broken Down Bayou Mardi Gras Melody Popcorn. Look at that. And they got Tiana's Broken Down Bayou Gummy Frogs. And a Cajun Craze Crunch. It's like a trail whip. Taste of broken down by you in your mouth today. Way, way too crazy in there. We gotta, we gotta go and get, as they say. You can only take so much of that. <laughs> she wanted, she wanted all the snacks, but the line is basically wrapped around the store right now. What'd you Next want? Next time, I wanted the Rice Krispie Treat. That's the shape of, you know, Mickey with the sprinkles yeah. and marshmallow. I don't need it. That's right. Okay, the line to get on both monorails is absolutely insane, so we're gonna do my uh, secret hack here, and I'll tell you what that is in a little bit. Have you all figured out the hack by now? No? Well, if you're not in a rush to leave the Magic Kingdom and you're at the Ticket Transportation Center, whenever it's really crowded, sometimes We'll just walk to the Contemporary from Magic Kingdom. If we're not obviously in a rush, because we live in Florida, so not in a rush to catch a flight or anything. So usually just walk over here, spend some time in the hotel. They have they have a gift shop on the main floor. Look around at the the snack areas open, get a coffee or something and waste some time wait for the resort monorail to come by when the crowds have died down a little bit hop on that and go to the ticket transportation center it's a nice way of just getting some extra steps in not being in a crowd waiting for things to die down and not a lot of people do it so a little tip for you if you're not in a rush to leave and you don't want to wait in that crazy line just walk over here check out the contemporary and the AC in here feels great too so why would you wait in that crazy line with a bunch of smelly tourists when you could be in here in the AC and wait for the monorail and go to your car it's great while we're on the second floor in the contemporary on the convention center level I'm gonna let you guys in on the biggest tip of all it's pretty much any night we've been here when we decide to walk over to wait for the crowds to die down. But if any of you need to relieve, relieve yourself, use the restroom, etc., 
the best restrooms in all of Disney are on this level because there's nobody here and you're allowed to walk through here at night. Everything's unlocked. So the restrooms on the convention level all the way down the hallway right here. There's no one over here and it checks out. Give it 10 stars. The more you know, you're welcome. It's so quiet and it's so nice. So you're welcome for that really big tip right there. The best restrooms in all of Disney. In the convention hall at the Contemporary because nobody knows about them. Everybody doesn't really come here. So you're welcome. <laughs> you ready to go? You wanna look at the gift shop? Magic words. We we're gonna think about getting something at the Contempo Cafe, but they close in 10 minutes and we don't want to be dicks, so we'll get something on the way home. But we're gonna go to one of these gift shops. I guess you already decided we're going to this one right here. Yeah, it's hardly hardly anybody in here tonight. Like I said, it's a nice place to come to if you're not wanting to wait in that crazy line out in front of the park. Take a nice walk over here to the contemporary. Come on in, go up the escalator, level four. Gift shops and food. Get away from the crowd. And when you're ready to go to the parking lot, get on the monorail. We do this all the time. Just saw they have the perfume that they have exclusively in Norway, but they have it here. Layla. So that's cool. So if you don't have a way to get in the Epcot, don't have a ticket for it and you still want it, come to the Contemporary, they have it right here. That's cool. Someone's complaining that I made her walk. Sorry, we could have waited in line. And if you do decide to walk here, if you're with anyone else, they also may complain that you're making them walk. Short, and I've worked all day. But it's worth it, because I hate waiting in crowds, so. Anyway, we're ready to go. So when you're ready to go, you just go up the other escalator and go through security. You're on the monorail loading deck. Resort monorail, it's the way to do it. There's no one else here too, so that's another cool thing about this is there's never really any crowds. The only crowds you'll have to fight are the people that are already on the monorail. Finally got on the monorail. Dealt with every large tourist group on there that you can imagine pushing their way down the ramp. It's like third world exodus, but all right. We're back at the Ticket Transportation Center. Going to the villain's lot. Back to the car and going home. 